Hello and welcome to Game of Thrones episode review. Today we look at episode 1 of season 5, The War to Come. But what they really should have called this episode is setting up season 5. And while I'm usually not a fan of this type of episode, I found myself enjoying it a lot more than I should have. The characters are interesting, their interaction with each other are absolutely wonderful, they are the peak of the show, and everything has consequences. Season 4 ended with some very strong emotional struggle for uh, all the characters involved, and this episode showed that the characters were not left unchanged. The Lannister family is pretty much falling apart, Tyrion is a mess, Jaime is guilty as he can be, and Cersei is even more bitter than she used to be. Joe's no at the wall is clearly still not over the death of Ingrid, and he looks like he's completely fed up with everything and all the bullshit from kings and witches and what have you. Daenerys, actually Daenerys is my negative note for this episode. Not because she looks like she's losing it, but because I just don't understand her motivations anymore. So last season she locked her dragons because they were out of control due to pretty much neglect and lack of discipline. But I've always assumed that that was a temporary solution, just until they find the final dragon and then she would have set up some kind of a stable uh, for dragons. And if you look at the Blu-ray history and lore of Game of Thrones, they point out the dragons were kept in some kind of a stable. So I thought that was the long term plan and I always assumed that she would spend a fair amount of time with her dragons, I mean she always called her their children, she's the mother of dragons, so I just don't get what's going on, I just don't understand why she's doing what she's doing. Also because it looks like she's never been to see her dragon once, so I'm rather disappointed with what's going on with her, not because she's less in control and how say cool than she used to be, but because I just don't understand her motivation, I, I just find it extremely unrelatable, unlike all the other characters in the show. And to conclude the spoiler free section, the flashback. I knew there would have been a flashback because it was announced quite a while back and I wasn't a big fan because the reason behind it is that fan requested it and I've been extremely disappointed with fan service over and over and over so I worried this would have been no exception but to my surprise it was. This was a wonderfully done flashback, it was subtle, it was meaningful and it really helped us understand Cersei's motivation, her bitterness and sourness. For now, suffice to say that the flashback was wonderful, the section of the north of the wall I really enjoyed, King's Landing was pretty much just a setup, uh, same as the part with Tyrion and Varys, and uh, Daenerys was probably the lowest point, although it was interesting to see the new villains, which I'll talk about in the spoilers section, which uh, begins now, so from now on beware of spoilers.